Hi guys, today I wanted to show you what's new in Xtile Plus version 1.3 which is available for downloading. In this newest version I've created a special folder in the materials section and in this folder I'll be housing all new material releases made from both existing and new functions. In this first edition I've created two sets of five texture atlas materials. The sets consists of four, seven, ten, thirteen, and sixteen quadrant atlas materials divided in two folders, a basic setup and a more elaborate one using X tiles and non-repetitive tiling function functions. So let's have a look at the texture itself. It is um, divided into seven quadrants. The texture is a 2K texture and the large quadrants are 1K each and the smaller ones are 512 pixels. I did the same for the normal and the same for the channel packed roughness, metallic and AO. Uh, if for any reason you have any MIP mapping issues uh, associated with the Atlas texture on certain meshes, you can mitigate the issue in the materials parameters or you can also turn them off in the uh, uh, MIP general settings here. So with that, let's uh, close the texture and let's uh, zoom in and have a closer look at the uh, meshes. Um, as you can see, I was able to texture uh, a wide variety of uh, uh, meshes, uh, including the floor, uh, from this uh, texture set. And in addition, I was able to get uh, uh, a high resolution because of the uh, tiling na nature of the atlas. And I'll just uh, show you. In addition, um, I was able to uh, use a world align uh, coordinate system on some of the uh, assets here. Uh, which is an option in the material and uh, therefore I did not need to UV them. So with that let's uh, move to the right and see how we can create those materials. So let's start with the floor and uh, here is the uh, material. I'm using the Xtile Plus master material for the floor and I will just switch on the Atlas uh, here and just scroll up and change the uh, quadrant to the one that we want which is the wood quadrant and then from here I will just uh, define the shape uh, of my boards that I want for my flooring and um, I will also um, turn on my grout visualizer and turn on the uh, width and the hardness of the grout that I want and once I've done that and adjusted it to uh, where I want this to be I can turn it off and just turn on the grout uh, normal uh, strength and uh, perhaps I can just uh, turn it down a little maybe even less and then I will just scroll down and um, under the color variation I will uh, turn on the uh, grout color uh, just strengthening the intensity here so that we have a little more definition from here I'm just going to basically use uh, the standard X tile func uh, parameters um, I can change the random seed of course um, I can uh, slide the um, the planks, uh, add some uh, slide jitter, bring down some of that brightness to um, create some more variation. Uh, scrolling down, I can uh, add some uh, dirt uh, on just to add another layer on top, and um, quite easily we've created this uh, flooring material from that texture atlas. So now let's uh, see uh, how we're going to be using our new uh, atlas materials for the rest of the meshes. So let's get this out of the way and uh, let's come in closer to the mesh. I want to focus on the leg 
first. So let's open the uh, the texture, the material. Um, here is the new uh, Atlas uh, material uh, present in uh, version 1.3. Here we have the Atlas selection, uh, the quadrant selection, the, the tiling parameters with the world align UVs option, the X tile um, options with the non-repetitive functions, the general texture uh, parameters including the channel packed uh, option, the masking uh, parameters uh, which uh, allow you to either add a uh, generic mask or even a baked mask to add to the uh, texture itself. Here you have some general mic mapping uh, controls for the uh, texture atlas and of course here we have the uh, texture slot. So let's turn the uh, textures on and see how they look and as you can see we have uh, created a uh, different sort of uh, a wooden uh, material from the same texture. Let's uh, do one more thing. I want to turn and uh, turn on the mask and let's drag this uh, mask in here to create um, oops, the masking. Um, here you have some controls on the contrast and the roughness so I'm just going to turn the roughness up a little bit so we have a sort of different uh, roughness on that um, uh, mask and as you can see we've created a nice uh, sort of um, wood pattern for our legs. Um, so I'm just going to continue uh, showing you uh, the rest of the materials here so um, it's just basically uh, quite um, uh, generic on what I did. Uh, I'm simply just turning on the uh, texture and if I scroll up, the only thing that I've done in most cases is just turn on the tiling and select which quadrant I would like to use. So quickly going through these, I will just come and turn all the textures on. For this one, the same. And again, I used the same mask to create a little sort of color variation. Right, so um, the other thing I want to show you is the uh, leather uh, material. The leather material is a little different in that it, if, let me just open it up, it is the uses the same texture atlas however what I did is I blended between the first quadrant and the second quadrant and also used uh, baked uh, masks uh, to add some uh, variations um, in the uh, curvature so if I select it and apply it you can see that we have this uh, cool looking uh, detailed leather again from the same uh, texture atlas. Now for the uh, lamp post um, I did uh, again something similar I simply turned on my texture atlas here and um, let's come here we could turn this down a little perhaps um, the thing that I uh, wanted to show you here is that I have turned on the X tile uh, organic breakup which uh, if I don't would uh, probably give me uh, some rather um, bad repetitions so I'm just uh, simply turning it on to get rid of them and finally for the pavement here I use the same technique that I used for the flooring. It's just uh, another part of the um, texture atlas. Again, here it is, um, quadrant seven. And instead of a 24 by two for our flooring, I used a six by six and just played with some of these uh, settings here. So let's uh, close this so we can see it a little better. And um,
just uh, trying this out. Let's see how it looks if I change the settings or the um, textures here. So as you can see, I was able to create all these um, uh, assets uh, from just that simple uh, atlas uh, texture. Um, of course, this is just the beginning because you can add more functions from the projects folders to create more complex materials or use other quadrant atlas configurations to create materials based on your requirements. I wanted to tell you that um, I have some other materials uh, planned uh, for future releases, but if you guys have any suggestions or requests uh, for materials using Xtile, because either you don't have the time or you find it a little uh, difficult to put something together, just drop me a line and we'll see if we can include it in with future releases. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you for watching. Take care and good luck with your project, guys.